Okay, so we got the paint in for the uh, focus that I planned on using um, to do the, uh, the hood, the roof, and a couple other spots. So the paint I got was, or the paint I got is, uh, this automotive touch-up, okay? Base coat here, it's uh, uh, code Ford S1. And uh, I got four cans of that, okay? And also four cans of the 2K Clear. This is the two part, you know, you, you mix, um, you put this button in the bottom, and then you flip it over, push the button, and then shake it again. And that's supposed to give you a really good, like a professional clear coat finish. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, this video is gonna take, take me a little bit of time because uh, I wanna show you guys like what it's gonna look like before and after. I don't wanna just, you know, do like a half of a video, show you me sanding, sanding the car, okay? Uh, I've never really done this with the 2K clear before. I've done a little bit of touch up on my uh, white car with uh, just standard clear coat. Uh, this car here is is definitely gonna be out in the sun more. I'm not gonna be garaging this one and I'm definitely not trying to make it perfect. So uh, what we have is uh, I have four cans of each. So I'm hoping that will do it. Um, I've spent around 170 bucks. It was like $171 that was including shipping. So um, I'm thinking to myself, you know, if if I can get this car looking pretty good, decent with a, for 170 bucks, that that should be worth it. Uh, I'm not going for perfection at all here. This is just your basic rattle can, make it look decent. So the main problem with this car is is the uh, clear coat peeling. Okay, that's the main problem. You can see it here, um, and on the roof is really really bad, uh, as you can see. Okay flaking off all this is just flaking off so I did a little research um, I'm not a huge uh, painter I don't profess to be a good painter this act this video is actually for someone who's a DIYer you know like that wants to try it doesn't want to spend a lot of money but wants to try it out uh, and, and in my opinion $170 to to fix your car or fix peeling clear coat is that's a really good price okay compared to what they charge you to do this, okay? It just takes time um, and you have to be willing to put in the, uh, the work. So if you can see here, uh, this, this, I haven't got this part done yet, but uh, what you wanna do is get the clear coat sanded down to where you, know, you, can, you don't feel the transition between your base and your clear. So like right here, this used to look like this, okay? Where you can feel it with your fingernail. You can even hear it, okay? Over here, where it was like that, um, I've blended it in, and you can't hear nothing with your fingernail. It, and you, if you closed your eyes and ran your hand across it, you definitely wouldn't feel it, okay? So that's what you're looking for. You want to get it to where it's uh, a smooth transition between your peeling clear coat and whatever's underneath, your base coat, your, this is, looks like some primer here, I don't know. This is all factory, so whatever it is factory, um, it is, you know, it doesn't look like there's any really like aftermarket body work on it or anything like that. This definitely all looks like factory, uh, whatever, uh, primer base coat clear coat so uh, there's a little ding here I'm not sure where, what happened there but I can use a little bit of the I'm gonna use a little bit of the filler I got I got this off Amazon let me show you guys works really nice I used it on a couple spots on the quarter panel uh, this here platinum plus finishing glaze with a um, with an ad hardener and I used that on a couple spots and it worked really nice right here on the corner uh, here okay here and also here this all feels really smooth and um, I've been blending that in and it, it's all coming out real nice so uh, yeah I'm hoping four cans does it I don't know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the video here because I'm gonna go ahead and continue sanding I'll show you guys uh, what I'm going to be sanding with you know I'm not going to show all of the sanding and me sitting there doing that so uh, here's what I'm using here's what I'm using right here a uh, Dura block sanding block with uh, 
some 3M 180, okay? Uh, this, I've been messing with this both ways with wet and dry, and it seems to work best dry, okay? So you pretty much what you're doing to get this over here, to get this over here to look like this, where there's no um, no line that you can feel, is you pretty much just gotta put a little pressure on it. Okay, right there, and you can see. I can you can take your fingernail and you don't feel anything now. Okay, and then up here you can see, you can hear it. So you're gonna do the same thing there. There you go. Nice and smooth. So pretty much I gotta do that to the, all of where the clear coat is uh, peeling, okay? Now, on the sides of the car, the, there is no peeling clear coat, okay? All this looks pretty good. Uh, there, there is some along this ridge here that I'm gonna have to blend in, but, and this panel here. So I'm gonna probably end up painting that entire panel. I'll probably tape it off at the door, paint the entire panel, uh, and not paint the door. Uh, and probably just, I'll probably take it, uh, maybe some, um, rubbing compound on the doors just to shine them up a little bit so I don't plan on painting the entire car it's just gonna be the spots that are really bad and there's little dings all over the car that I'm not even gonna worry about like this is gonna be a driver I'm gonna drive this car a lot okay uh, so so yeah that's pretty much what I'm gonna do I'm gonna continue sanding and um, I'll come back whenever I get the car pretty much where I want it you know kind of um, prepped and ready to go uh, this is definitely not going to be a professional paint job. It's going to be something that's just going to look decent, okay? Uh, the peeling clear coat looks really bad. Um, and that's all I'm looking to fix. You see here, it's it's pretty bad. So hopefully we can get it done with that amount of paint. If not, I mean, I may have to buy some more, but even so, I mean, let's say I spend $200. I mean, 200 bucks for, uh, you know, brand new paint. Okay, it's not that bad, so. Okay, so we got uh, most of the uh, clear coat blended in on um, all most of the hood. Uh, there's still a few spots I need to, to work at, but what I wanna do now is uh, use some of that glaze that I showed you earlier on some of these larger holes, like a ho that hole there. Um, there's a pretty good little pit right there. Uh, where else? Maybe Maybe one right here. Yeah, just a few pits here and there, which I'm gonna use that uh, glaze to just kind of fill that in. Maybe hit it with a quick primer. And um, just so it's not such a noticeable, you know, like dip in the paint. Uh, so this stuff here dries really fast. So there's about, I don't know, you can tell by my finger, maybe a half dollar size, maybe a little bigger. And um, I'm just gonna put just a tiny bit of hardener that's about all you need this stuff dries really fast so get our little squeegee here and we'll i'll try to do this with one hand uh it's going to be difficult but we'll see yeah it's quite difficult doing it with one hand so let's see here It turns like a light green. Yeah, it turns like a light, uh, like a lightish greenish color. And it's really smooth and really uh, liquidy. So. so once it's fully mixed, just go ahead and take a little bit and it just kind of fills that hole and you can be kind of generous that way you have plenty to uh, to take off so a few more holes here 
then just go around, you know, fill all the little holes you see. And supposedly this stuff doesn't shrink very much, uh, according to the manufacturer. So, um, quite a few little, uh, little holes up front, you know, that's pretty typical for, uh, a car to get holes up front because of all the rocks you're hitting on the road and this is already starting to harden up that quick so you don't have a lot of time to work with it and you can sand it within I don't know 20 30 minutes Yeah, it's already getting hard to work with so yep it's already starting to dry as you can see okay so i used a little bit of a high build uh primer this rust-oleum high build primer to uh fill in or spray the little areas where i was using the filler okay and uh, just so that i'm not painting directly to uh body filler so uh, this kind of will seal it and kind of also fills in some imperfections too. This stuff, it, it builds up pretty good. And, um, and then we can hit this again with, uh, you know, we can sand it again. So after that dries, we'll move up to the, uh, to the uh, 400, which I have right here. Some of this 300, um, they call it blend step. So... This would be after your scuff glaze and spot putty. And this would be before primer, but we're not priming it because um, we're just not. We're not going to prime the whole car. It's just, I'm going right over old paint. So, um, you know, you can do that, I believe. I mean, if I was to do this right, I probably should prime the whole entire car. But like I said, we're not painting the whole car. So just the hood and probably the roof and the rear quarters. So... Let me let that dry. We'll uh, come back, sand that, and then, like I said, I'm not gonna paint it today, so it'll probably be tomorrow when you'll see the next uh, little part of this video, and uh, or maybe the next day after that, I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> it's the next day, and I brought the uh, hood um, in, my, in the garage here, and I'm gonna have to probably put my car cover on this car. I don't, I don't really wanna move it right now, so, I think the best thing would be just to put a car cover on it. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. So um, we have plenty of room here to, to spray it. So uh, I'm going to keep this door open just a little bit. I'm going to probably lower it to here just to keep a draft going this way. Um, and if I open, crack this door open, it'll, it'll make a nice little draft going this way. So uh, I don't think we'll have a problem with like any overspray or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on a tripod and um, start shaking up the uh, the base coat and start laying it down. I mean, I'm not gonna overthink this, just gonna go about it how I would normally spray paint anything and uh, we'll go from there. I know that the uh, clear coat is a little bit more of a critical step. I'm probably gonna do like uh, one light coat and then maybe one heavy coat. And I think that's probably all I'm gonna have I'm probably going to let one can will probably be perfect for this hood. The, the cans say that they cover between five and eight square feet. Okay. So that's probably roughly what this is. Okay. So I think, I think we'll have enough. So let me put you on a tripod. I may even do a time lapse or whatever, just so it's not, you know, spraying and spraying and spraying. So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, let's get to work.
Okay, so I started spraying it outside, but it was a little too windy for me. So I drug it back in and um, it took two cans of base. So it's a little, still a little blotchy right now, uh, but uh, yeah, it's still a little blotchy right now and it needs to dry. So uh, yeah, let me let that dry a little bit and um, kind of look it over. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to sand again or not. I'm seeing some pretty deep scratches. You know, I went over it with the 400 after I did the 180, but there's still a little bit of uh, scratches you can see. But um, I don't know, I know you can sand between coats, but let me do a little uh, reading on that and um, we'll see what it looks like after it dries a little bit. Okay, so I didn't film it because um, I was just there was just too much going on and I had to really focus on what I was doing, but I went ahead and sprayed the clear and it came out pretty good. Uh, I had a little left over, so I uh, cleared this uh, front grill piece here that uh, I already painted it. I painted it black and um, I just went ahead and cleared over it and it made the uh, lenses look real nice. So yeah see if you guys can tell by the with the GoPro I mean it looks pretty good uh, definitely not perfect but yeah there's quite a few little you know nibs in it and it's really not perfect but I think for a spray can job it's not bad and what I'm gonna end up doing is probably um, I have <clears throat> which I did to this car here which makes it look pretty good is I have uh, a, uh, let's see, I have a kit here. Oh, it's right here. Um, I bought this kit right here off of uh, uh, 3M's website. And it has uh, like a stage, uh, a bunch of stages of compound and it's got these Trizac discs, they call them, um, that you put on a dual action sander and um, you can cut and buff and I've got all kinds of buffing wheels and all kinds of stuff. So I can do that to that hood and really bring the shine out in it. But um, it ended up being um, a lot more paint than I thought. So I ended up using uh, three cans of base because it looked kind of like tiger stripes. Uh, because, and then I did a little research after that, after I was spraying it and saw the tiger stripes and um, apparently with, with metallic uh, base coat, you have to, um, like on your last coat, you wanna go really far away from it. So it spreads the metallic down nice and even. So that's what I did. And um, it took one more whole can. So I went through three cans of base and that was just uh, two cans of clear. So yeah, it's gonna be more paint than I thought. So I, I need to do the roof which is the roof is gonna be a little less because the roof, let's go out to the car. The roof itself has a, uh, a sunroof on it. So the sunroof takes up quite a bit of real estate on top of the roof. So I don't, I'm not sure, I mean, most likely it's gonna take about the same amount of paint. So I'm gonna to have to order some more paint. Uh, you know, and I gotta do these quarters here and yeah. Like I said before, I'm going to leave the doors. The doors look good. Um, these fenders look good. And I need to do the bumper. So I'm looking at another at least four cans of paint. So, but that's okay. You know, I figured that it may take more than I thought, but I wanted to get started on it. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can really see the, the lights in the reflection there. And this is still wet. I mean, I just sprayed it. So, so yeah, there you go. Um, I'm gonna end the video here. That's how you rattle can a, um, a hood or parts of your car or whatever. Uh, it's not perfect. I'm telling you right now, if you ever see me at the track and you see this car, it's not perfect, but from a distance, it's gonna look pretty decent. So compared to what it was, um, it's not bad. So, all right guys. Hope you learned something. Um, I'm learning too, along with you guys. Uh, you know, I've never really done large pieces like that before. So yeah, I'm learning every, every day. So if you guys got any tips or tricks or whatever, maybe some painters out there can give me some tips and tricks. 
That'd be cool. Put it in the comment section. But like, I, you know, I just don't want people coming on and saying, oh, you're doing this wrong. You're doing that wrong. And the thing is, I know, you know, I know that this is not what I'm my my expertise. My expertise is more mechanical stuff, but I do like to mess around with painting sometimes. So but anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Check you all later. And um, I don't know when we'll get back to the track soon. Hopefully. See you.